COVID-19 cases continue to rise around North Carolina, including right here in Charlotte. Local officials tracking the spike say a major reason is from people not social distancing. Thanks for joining us. I'm Erica Bryant and I'm Scott Wickersham. We're seeing this problem in Charlotte as well. This is outside of QC Poorhouse in South End over the weekend. You can see people up crowded near the door. Uh, I guess waiting to get in or just leaving. But now that owner says that she knows that this is a problem, but it's not that easy of a fix. She spoke to Channel 9's Mark Becker about the issue here, and Mark joins us live tonight. Mark, she says she can control what happens in the restaurant, but not really what people do outside on the sidewalk. Yeah, that's right, Scott. I don't think there are any really socially distancing police, right? I've talked to the ABC officers here. They say we're not going to be doing that. And the problem is all of this comes as those coronavirus numbers are going in absolutely the wrong direction. It seems like this of a crowd outside a restaurant in South End late Friday night that have some wondering if we're taking the threat of COVID seriously anymore. It's not just us. It's, you know, Everywhere else in the South Bend area is very busy right now. Ashley Gasbaro, the owner of QC Poorhouse, told me they have to limit the number of customers inside their restaurant, but it's tough to control the people waiting outside. They encourage them to wear masks, but encouraging is one thing, enforcing quite another. You know, that's something that just because it's a younger crowd in South Bend, that those rules aren't always 100% followed. And with the number of COVID cases in North Carolina going up by almost 1,000 again today, some are wondering if too many people have stopped following COVID safety recommendations. I think um, we're no more as careful as we um, used to be. You know, um, we kind of um, let it go down a little bit. Ugo Uche's feeling is shared by state and local health officials who've seen big crowds protesting in the streets for more than two weeks now. But daily crowds on sidewalks and streets, some masked, others not, are perhaps more telling. Jenny Moore and Monica Weckerhagen told us they're being careful, but you can't make everybody do the same. People are going to do what they want to do. Whether you say go to a restaurant or don't, they're going to find some way to get out. Whether they want to distance themselves, they will. I mean, as human beings, we are pretty self-reliant and we kind of want to do what we want to do. And I think some of the frustration that we heard from Governor Cooper in his briefing this afternoon in Raleigh was just exactly that. People are going to do what they want to do. And somebody asked him if he's still planning to go to phase three, opening more businesses at the end of next week. He said, well, we're looking at that. We're going to make a science based a decision and we'll probably have an answer for you next Monday. Scott. I'm Mark Becker live tonight. Mark, thanks very much. Now in North Carolina, we broke a streak of five straight days of a thousand new cases a day. Uh, the most recent numbers, 983 positive cases out today. 797 people are in the hospital. That's just one less than the day before.